In this week's Piano Drop, we'll be featuring The Crackle Box by Angus Roberts Carey, The Saw by Jai K, The Felt Library by Limos, The Helm Yamaha Tak Piano by Jesse Royal, and The Thick and Soupy DS80 by Mogi Grumbles. Cracklebox by Angus Roberts Carey. This sample pack converts the rare Cracklebox synth by Mikel Vivitz into a playable software instrument. Within the two instruments contained in this pack are four different sound sets that can be combined and blended together. Originating in the 90s as a preset on the Roland JP8000 synthesizer, the Super Saw sound has become a staple across many genres of music. The Saw is an instrument born of my love for this sound. Based around sawtooth waves multi-sampled from a Eurorack 3340 style analog oscillator, the Saw allows you to move from a single rich sawtooth wave through to a giant sounding 8 voice detuned Super Saw. Library by Limos. To make a library has always been something that I have idealized. After I released the Felt Library project, available on all digital platforms, it made sense to finally make this library happen. Despite having few resources available, my good friend Andrew Fly by Cinematic Alpha encouraged me and was fundamental in getting this project to completion. The Felt Library is the result. I hope this library can become a helpful tool for composers and film composers in the community. Yamaha Tack Piano by Jesse Royal. I received this Yamaha Upright Piano as a high school graduation present in 1997. I wrote the music for several of the songs on our first Maroon 5 album on this piano. Then years later, I had to strip the felt off with tacks on it installed, so I could pull a lever and lower the tacks in between the hammers and the strings across a certain range of the piano. My friend Christopher Harrison and I sampled it in 2018, and here it is for you. DS80 by Mogi Grumbles. I found this synth and rescued it from being used as a for parts keyboard. After an incredibly long 11 hour road trip to just north of NYC, I was now the proud owner of a very broken CS80. The only glimmer of hope was that it still powered on and it did produce a very unpleasant sound on most of the keys. <laughs> 